taken the receiver off my old plane. So that's supposed to go into this area here. Which it does. I expect I'll put a bit of hot glue on it to hold it in place. I can use the existing push rods. So I'll adjust them to fit in a minute. The motor should be okay. So I'm not sure if it's powerful enough. And I actually glued it in place using Gorilla Glue last time. Because when you use hot glue on an electric motor, electric motor gets hot and it comes off. So uh, I'll trim that up a bit. And we'll find a position for that. But there is a problem. As you can see, my existing propeller is too big. So I'll have to see if I've got one that's a little bit smaller. I could probably take one off or one of my spares from the Hubson little quadcopters. The only thing is they are pullers rather than pushers. So I'll have to drill a hole right through one of them so it goes on backwards. See if that will work, because they are smaller. Would have been handy to have marked a line on there, so we got it straight. Mm. Okay, well, we'll sort something out there. So that's one of the cheap propeller blades off my Hubsons. So quite a bit smaller. I've just drilled a hole right the way through it so we can put it on backwards, as I say, so it's facing forwards. Um, using this out of here, I'm able to use my old Flysky FSCT6B that I did all the mixing on to fly that one. So it should... Uh, Whether it'll have anything like enough power, I don't know. Seem to have some other mixing going on there. Oh, well, that would be right, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, that's progress. That's a bit of a shortcut. That seems to be shuddering. Might be the ba battery's a bit low, I haven't charged it up. We'll see. Well, that's everything in place. Uh, switch the receiver on. I'm not sure whether that shuddering is a problem with the receiver or low battery. I do remember it from when I used to fly the other plane. Anyway, up, down, left and right. Yeah, not sure. It may be that receiver's given up. But I will try charging the battery up and see what happens. 
Um, we'll just have a look what the weight is. Forty-three. So that's a bit heavier than the um, foam one was. That's about thirty-five or something. I seem to remember. So that's disappointing. I'm not sure about central gravity yet. I've done nothing to adjust it. All I've done is temporarily stuck the battery on the bottom with a bit of blue tack. So that does mean I can move it forwards and backwards to adjust the centre of gravity. And I haven't put uh, the wing tips on, winglets, what you want to call them, either. I'm disappointed with that weight. I was hoping it might turn out lighter than the other one. Hmm. Thanks for watching. If you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched thanks again for watching